The analysis of oppression, what does it mean to be oppressed? 1. To be oppressed means to be put under subjection by a force stronger than you are, 2. It means to be tortured by certain forces that are beyond your control. Oppression is not only experienced physically, it could be psychological, financial, marital, educational and the most importantly spiritual, for a person to be under oppression physically. The oppression must have been planted spiritually, nothing can come into manifestation unless it has been accomplished in the spirit. Oppression is a state of captivity in which you rely on your enemy for survival. It is the foundation for difficulties, frustrations, hardships and unbearable sufferings, for an individual to be oppressed, he must have fulfilled certain criteria consciously or unconsciously, an oppressed fellow might be completely unaware of his state utile trouble starts, Psalm 42-9, I will say unto God my rock, why hast thou forgotten me? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? These questions form the basis of what I am want you to attempt to answer them sincerely, as you read on, no matter what form, shape or manner it taka, oppression is always from the camp of the enemy, Isaiah 54 colon 14, in righteousness shalt thou be established, thou shalt be eleven far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear and from terror, for it shall not come near thee, as Christians and children of the Most High God, oppression is meant to be far from us. This is God's plan and purpose for our lives, however, it is not automatic that it works in our lives, it depends on the individual, it could, 7 to 7, surely oppression maketh wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart, from this verse, one can deduce that a man can only lay claim to wisdom when he is not oppressed, when oppression comes upon a man, he becomes another creature. He cannot regulate or control his affairs anymore because a power stronger than him is now in place. He really needs the mercy of God. Acts of the Apostles 10:38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. In this verse, we are introduced to the power that can break the backbone of oppression. It is the Holy Ghost and the power of God. We can also notice that when a fellow has been under the power of oppression, he needs healing. Many of us look and feel quite happy with ourselves. We are not quarreling with anybody or at war with any force. But when oppression sets in, our countenance changes and a kind of force takes control of our lives. As a result, many of us cannot explain the mystery we find ourselves in. When oppression comes upon a person, it introduces an evil load upon him, and because of the heavy load that has been introduced, the person who used to be good becomes bad all of a sudden, what does it mean to oppress? To oppress means to weigh down, it also means to sit upon a person, to oppress means to cruelly exercise power over a person, it could also mean to cause a person to be depressed, surely, the Bible says, oppression maketh a wise man mad, to be oppressed means to be under a very hard yoke and a heavy burden. Jesus Christ says, Come unto me all you whose yokes are hard and your burdens are heavy and I will give you rest, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus recognized the implication of a yoke or burden in our lives. Like God the Father, Jesus gives each and everyone free will to choose whom to serve, but you must realize that we shall all reap what we sow in this world. One of our brothers, who found a lady he wanted to marry, claimed he loved her with the whole of his heart and that she was God's choice for him, things began to happen quickly over the marriage, oppression makes the yoke hard and the load heavy each time he wanted to sleep, he would dream that the lady dressed like a man, he got confused and told her not to come to his house anymore, the next morning, the first person to come to him was the lady, she told him that he had entered into her and she had entered into him, so his glory was now in her hands. He sent her away, but when he got to the office that morning, he saw a letter waiting for him, he was ordered to submit his car and his house to his employers, and to tender a letter of resignation immediately, he went home to console himself, but on getting there, he noticed that thieves had come and stolen everything in the house, including the refrigerator, he ran back to the lady and said that he had made a slip of tongue, she forgave him and in less than a week, those who sacked him came back apologized and reinstated him, this fellow died of oppression three years ago, the yoke he chose was too hard for him, 
Oppression makes the yoke hard and the load heavy, the Bible says Christ's yoke is easy and his burden is light, what does it still mean to be oppressed? It is for a wicked spirit to sit on someone's shoulder, consistently harassing the person, it is sad but true that over 90% of churchgoers or so-called Christians suffer from one form of oppression or the other, you may deceive yourself by saying it is a lie but I know what I am talking about, even in places where they shout and pray against the devil, if you are not free from doing his will, you are in deep our oppression compared to the unbelievers, the devil will deceive the unbeliever into committing sin for which he will get his reward but the devil will torture you for praying against him and still doing his will, oppression is a terrible thing, it is a form of slavery, oppression is usually the first point of attack of the enemy, most cases reported in the hospitals, either early or late, are usually cases of oppression, 15 kinds of oppression there are 15 different kinds of oppression, I want you to read them carefully so you can realize their consequences and appreciate the need for you to be free from their captivity. 1. Bodily oppression You just find out that something is not right with your body, you do not feel the way you should feel, there is something oppressing your body. One of the greatest deliverance cases I have ever seen in my life was the one of a fellow who used to be very bright, all of a sudden, he became very dull, when the number of students in the class was 30. His position was the last and when they became 36, he took the 36 th position. The teachers were confused, nobody knew that there could be a padlock in the head of a person, as they laid hands on him on the deliverance ground. He coughed out a padlock, right from that day, he moved again from 36 th position to the first position, every padlock of witchcraft locking my virtue, die, in the name of Jesus, 2, physical oppression 3, mental oppression 4, spiritual oppression many people are under these categories of oppression. The devil has limited the anointing upon their lives and they are now confused about what is happening to them. 5. Marital oppression Many marriages are of convenience, many couples are suffering day and night, I went to visit a couple and the hair of the madam was wet with water, she greeted me well, smiling at me, instead of telling me the truth that her husband had just put her head into a water closet and flushed it, and that he was still there, getting ready to beat her up. This is a case of marital oppression, now let me say that it is not only the man that oppresses the woman, women now know how to oppress fellow women, and how to oppress and deal ruthlessly with men, I have seen a man trying to go out and the woman said if he stepped out of the door, hunger would kill him, he quickly went back because it was only the woman that was working, oppression has been programmed by the devil into an institution like marriage whose founder and chief proprietor is God himself. This is very sad. 6. Financial oppression 7. Career oppression Those who know about the university system of know that before one can move from one level to the other, one is asked to publish papers that would meet international standards and be reckoned with around the world. Some lecturers write as if they want to die, yet their works are not recognized. This man spent days and nights writing but they were not seen as materials. This is a situation where effort is not used to measure achievement. 8. Dream oppression Instead of people or Christians to fulfill the scripture that the young shall dream dreams and the old shall see visions, every night is another battleground of war with forces that are stronger than they are. Some situations have got so serious that those concerned attempt not to sleep at night so as to avoid being fed or battered in the dream. Some see dead relatives, others experience terrible nightmares. 9. Verbal oppression Verbal oppression is a case where the tongue becomes a snare to the whole body, although a small member of the body. The tongue can set the whole world ablaze, as lifeless as it may seem. The tongue is tougher and stronger than a gun or a sword, it is a weapon, which when not controlled, could cause mass destruction, with it we bless, with it we curse, with it we give life, with it we take life. 10. Emotional oppression is a state when you notice that most of the time, for inconsequential and unnecessary issues, you just feel sad and downcast, you can't explain why or what happened, you just know that something keeps telling you that all is not well. 11. Witchcraft oppression, has become as common as bread and butter, in those days, witches were ashamed and used to hide their identity and association, but today, they have become as important as the United Nations. 
As some people have become dependent on them for their existence and survival, this may sound strange but it has continued to wax stronger and stronger as many Christians have given room to modernism and liberty to enjoy the pleasures or ordinances of the world. 12. Inherited oppression Inherited oppression is transferred from parents to children, the Bible says that curses which are issued on some people are carried on to their third and fourth generation, you may not have offended anyone. You may not have done anything wrong but for the mere fact that you belong to a certain lineage or kindred, certain forces have been put in place before you were born to oppress you, except you are delivered by the mercy of God. 13. Forced oppression Those who experience forced oppression, like those who are oppressed unconsciously can do nothing about it, they fight by the means they know, yet they remain oppressed, many of such people are Christians, for them to be saved. They need to pray specific and targeted prayers that will locate the unprotected forehead of their oppressors. 14. Unconscious Oppression 15. Conscious Oppression When oppression goes beyond tolerance, madness results. That is why the Bible says, Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Oppression is a destroyer and a maddening power. Oppression has an imprisonment power. It has a dominating and demoting power. It has a burdening and yoke power. It is not the normal function of oppression to kill a person, it will just keep the person unsettled, uncomfortable and depressed, it can be linked to a parasite. They say that a good parasite does not kill the host, but a bad parasite like cancer will kill its host and have nothing to eat again, like a tapeworm that stays inside the tummy, it waits for you to eat and digest your food. It only begins to operate when the individual is trying to absorb the nutrients into the body. Oppression is a terrible satanic spirit. It sometimes come upon a person and the person would say he feels like a breeze coming upon him. It can be compared to when you're trying to sleep and suddenly feel like a deep freezer is plugged to your bed, and the cold runs through your body. 17 and then goes away. The spirit of oppression has done an unquantifiable amount of havoc to men and women. Oppression is the center forward player in the enemy's football team, if it gets in, other more terrible spirits would move in, there is no amount of work you will do that will prevent some people from getting into conscious oppression with their eyes wide open, some of the victims don't just know what to do, the devil has so bamboozled them that they believe there is no way out, oppression is a masquerading spirit that comes in different forms oppression is a demon assigned by the devil to trap and to cage. Once it is dispatched against you, you must fight it to a standstill with all your strength, and heart, it causes heavy and antagonistic feeling in the body, soul and spirit, like a virus in a computer system, it will prepare a person for a total and permanent shutdown, oppression can originate in early childhood oppression is a masquerading spirit that comes in different forms, it can enter into the life of an individual through all kinds of avenues. Anytime you no longer know whether to follow God or the devil, you are being oppressed. If you are always at the crossroads in your spiritual life, not knowing if you should hold on to Jesus or go back to the world, you're being oppressed. Oppression is particularly stubborn. When you find a particular sin holding a person captive, then it is oppression. When you see someone who, in spite of praying hard, his instrument of sin is in his pocket, he is under oppression. In 1994 after a message on brokenness, a minister of God from another church came to see me, immediately he entered my office he broke down, cried and said I should help him, he was a pastor, who kept cigarettes in his pocket, even after the sermon on brokenness, he still kept his cigars, he was under oppression, oppression can originate in early childhood, many spoiled their kids by oppressing them at a very young age, so, Oppression can become a major factor in shaping a child's life. Oppression presses you down when you are struggling to succeed. Oppression is when you are going from one disappointment to the other. It is a mind destroyer. It has no respect for persons or races. Oppression is when your sleep is being disturbed or when you oversleep. Oppression is when you have an abnormal appetite, when you eat too much or eat too little. Oppression is when a person is so upset with life that he refuses to go out or he wants to end it all. Oppression is when you refuse to forgive yourself. Oppression brings a spirit of worthlessness with it. All forms of addictions are oppressions. It starts from small things like tobacco, snuff, drinks and cigarettes. 
Oppression can cause fear in the mind of a person. Oppression can remove a person from those that will help him so that the enemy can have unmolested control over him. It is when Satan becomes an authoritative figure in a person's life. It is when problems are packaged neatly for the future. This means that many people are just bombs walking around and getting ready to explode. Oppression is spiritual weight. It is known for its ability to make a person stray from his divine destination. It is progressive insanity, unfortunately, at times, relevant prayers are not employed to make amend to what oppression has destroyed. If you notice that you are being tormented by wicked oppressive spirits, then you are under oppression. Is the enemy attacking every area of your life? You should know you are suffering from multiple oppression. Do you notice that you are spiritually stagnant? Do you notice uncomfortable financial embarrassment? Do you discover that your helpers are running away? Is your marriage a cat and mouse marriage? Do you notice that all those evil family patterns are happening to you one after the other? Are all other members of your family doing very well, but you seem to be the only one not doing well? If yes, then you must know that there is oppression on ground. How do we break the backbone of oppression? Salvation. You must give your life to Jesus so that through the baptism and anointing of the Holy Spirit, shackles of oppression can be destroyed completely. God first loved us and gave his only begotten son to die for us. We need not remain under any form of oppression. Through the word of God, the Bible says the word of God is like a hammer that breaks rocks into pieces. When we renew our minds with the word of God, bondage must be broken, no matter how old they are, no matter who put them the raw where they came from. I expect anyone who wants to be immune to oppression to know, at least, 52 memory verses, genuine baptism off Holy Spirit at one of the prayer rain meetings, I shared a testimony about a woman with a very terrible problem, she had the result of two scans in her hand, scan 1 said she was 6 months pregnant, while scan 2 said her womb was completely empty, for this, she went for a crusade and went to the section for the fruit of the womb but was directed to join the section for Holy Ghost baptism, she got baptized in the Holy Ghost got into labor and was delivered of a large snail, when you receive the genuine baptism of the Holy Ghost, there is no way the wonder-working power of God will not come upon you and something will definitely happen, through repentance, when we repent of our sins, the Lord promises us forgiveness and deliverance, repentance removes the ladder and the legal ground of the enemy, many of us need to repent of the wrong use of our eyes, ears, mouths, hearts and most especially, our tongues, the activities are known to you. But once the tongue issues forth a statement, it goes into the wind to your listener and can never return to you. You can plead to be forgiven but you can never get back your words. Cast out the demon on oppression, by the powers in the name and the blood of Jesus, you can cast out the demon of oppression. Our bodies are the sacred temples of God and a spirit or a false personality is not supposed to dwell therein. Violent faith by this I mean the kind of faith exercised by Bartimaeus, he called on the Most High God, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me, he was told to keep quiet, but the more he was silenced, the more he screamed, his voice was not the loudest but his faith was the strongest, he held our Lord Jesus at one spot and made him to return and attend to him, the day you have violent faith, you will experience what to some others is impossible, for with our God, all things are possible, by warfare prayers there are many methods of deliverance but the best remains the power of prayer, prayer has prevailed over fire, water and the earth, Joshua prayed in the Bible and stopped the movement of the sun, prayer has prevailed over angels, it has cast out the devil and broken down his kingdom, prayer has power over good angels to bring them from heaven, prayer has healed the sick and raised the dead. In the case of Daniel, Prayer has stopped the mouth of lions, it has subdued evil powers and put them to flight. Prayer has opened prison gates and completely blindfolded the enemy. There is no artillery of hellfire that can stand against prayer, it is like an engine that makes the enemy tremble. The power of prayer remains undefeatable. The power of prayer is beyond human comprehension. Prayer points 1. Holy Ghost fire, come upon my life, in the name of Jesus. 2. Thou power of spiritual dowries, die, in the name of Jesus. 3. Every counterfeit spiritual honeymoon, scatter, in the name of Jesus. 4. 
lay your hands on your stomach, every sexual serpent and scorpion, 21 die, in the name of Jesus, 5, inherited oppression in my life, die, in the name of Jesus, 6, environmental darkness in my area, scatter, in the name of Jesus, 7, dream robbers, die, in the name of Jesus, 8, I fire back every arrow of oppression, in the name of Jesus, power to suppress the suppressor, Luke 24 49, and, behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem, until ye be endued with power from on high, one of the greatest weakness of modern day Christianity powerlessness, the enemy is aware of this and he is using it to terrorize and oppress us. Do you know that when a greater power comes across a smaller power, the smaller power bows? Do you believe that if you have the power to operate at a certain level of authority, the devil and his agents will be subject to you? You must understand the fact that like every other organization or institution, there is a hierarchy in the school of power, there is the topmost level which is God Almighty, followed by his Son, Jesus Christ, who is followed closely by the Holy Spirit. This is a trinity which simultaneously operates at a level or magnitude of power that is incomprehensible to human knowledge, just like when Jesus asked Peter who do you think I am, and Peter responded, Jesus, the Son of the Most High God, the Messiah, Jesus said that this was not revealed to Peter by man but by God, the only power that can suppress the suppressor is the power from on high, so, for you to have a clear understanding of the principle of power. You have to move closer to God, the closer you are to God. The more you can experience and exercise his divine authority, the farthest person from the power of God is the devil. God is at one extreme and so is the devil at the other extreme. The devil will try to prevent you from receiving power from God by enticing you with the cares of this world. Whatever he gives you now is only a facade or a mirage. After a while, it disappears and you are in trouble. You have to decide to follow Jesus key into his power so you can experience, him as the I am that I am, the fellow who operates in the heavenlies is stronger than the fellow who operates down here or underneath the earth, the fellow on earth can experience the power from on high if he chooses to serve God, or he can decide to be deceived by the power from below which is determined to lure mankind from God in order to kill man's eternity, the only power that can suppress the suppressor the power from on high, when Jesus was crucified, the state of his disciples was sorrowful. Peter went back to fishing, Thomas, the I am a scientist, I am an honest and logical doubter, said he saw Jesus dying and was there when Jesus said he would come back, however, until I see him and I put my finger into the holes in his hands, I won't believe he lives, the disciples of Jesus were like the sheep, whose shepherd had been killed and they had to scatter, they behaved as if they had never known the Messiah. Once the power of God comes into your life, you are a winner. The Messiah, who raised the dead in their presence, was also the healer, who cast out a legion of demons from the man at the graveside. They saw all these, yet they were in a sorry state after his death. Why were they in this sorry state? It was because something was missing in their lives. The reason something or someone is threatening you in your dream, or someone issued a curse upon you and it is working, is that there is no power in you. Any time a greater power comes against a lesser power, the lesser power must bow as a matter of necessity. When I was in secondary school, a man was brought to our school and we had to contribute 10 kobo each to watch him. This amount was very big money then, they told us that he was a superman, when he undressed, one of his hands with its muscles was almost more than my size then, I was really surprised, the man said he wanted to display his power. So he tied a string to a Volkswagen Beetle car and held it in his teeth and began to pull it and the car was moving, later, fifty boys held one end of the rope and he started pulling it at the other end as if all the boys were just as light as pieces of paper, he could do this because he had power in him which could not be understood, a lady took her fiancé home to introduce to her daddy, the father ran inside the room and brought out a cutlass, he was surprised that the girl wanted to marry. He asked her how she managed to break the yoke he put upon her. He then chased the young man away, if not for the mercy of God, that lady would never have married in her life, any time a greater power comes against a lesser power. 
the lesser power must bow as a matter of necessity a lion came upon Samson but something happened to him that the lion did not understand, the Bible says, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon him, immediately the Spirit of the Lord came upon Samson, he tore the lion into pieces, beloved, if you read your Bible carefully, you will realize that Samson was not a muscular or very huge person, he was just like an ordinary man, but when the Spirit of God came upon him, he became unstoppable, once the power of God comes into your life, you are a winner, when that power enters into your life, your yoke will break, those things that have been boasting that they are strong and have been suppressing you will flee, are you ready to receive the power from on high? When it comes upon you, your yoke will break and you can suppress your suppressors, when the power from on high rests upon you, you will torture and harass the devil to the uttermost, the devil and his demons will fear you like fire fears water, in a city where the mountain of fire and miracles ministries is now located, there was a tree that the people of that community had been worshipping for seventy years, any time they wanted to worship this tree, practically the whole town would be summoned to be there, fortunately and unfortunately, the mountain of fire and miracles ministries is situated at the back of this tree, so, after every service, the pastor in charge of that branch told the congregation to pray one prayer point free of charge for the community, let the fire of God consume every evil tree, in the name of Jesus, are you ready to receive the power from on high? One day, they noticed smoke coming out right from the root of the tree, later it became a great fire. The chief priest was called and they started pouring water on the tree, but the more they poured water, the more the fire burned rain fell, but the fire did not quench and the tree fell and was destroyed, I pray that every evil tree growing in any life today shall be roasted, in the name of Jesus, the Bible says that on the day of Pentecost, the apostles were of one accord, all of a sudden as they sat together, there was a noise like a mighty wind, and it filled the whole place, and there was a burning tongue of fire on the head of each of them, they were one hundred and twenty, that fire will fall on your head, in the name of Jesus, then their lives changed, one man of God has said that the sign of Christianity is not the cross but the tongue of fire, when that power comes upon you, you will feel the existence of the Almighty in you, when you walk into a demonic environment, the demons will walk out immediately, oh that you will have the power that the apostles had burning in them, you will not have to pray against evil forces, problems or frustration because the grandfather of any evil spirit that would want to torment your life has not been born, you would be completely immune to the devices of the devil, your life would become too hot for the enemy to handle or for the enemy to live in, oh that the power from on high will enter into our bones like it entered into the life of Elisha. Even when Elisha was dead, the fire was still inside his bones and it was enough to raise the dead, if the bone of a dear man had fire in it to raise the dead is that the kind of person that witches would want to attack? It is possible for us to receive this same power from on high to suppress the suppressors to the uttermost, it is not good that someone will be speaking in tongues and will still be having dreams of spirit husbands or spirit wives, poverty and frustration, and every single day becomes a day of lamentation for him, many of us say that we have received the baptism of the Holy Spirit, then why are you still afraid of witches and wizards? it is because you have not received it, when you receive it, you will become as bold as a lion, our present day Christians wear materials and ornaments that are dedicated to demons without knowing it, some of us have houseboys and maids that are serpents, and we don't know, others are being surrounded by unfriendly friends and they don't know, it is like that sister who attended our prophetic prayer meeting, that was the first time in her life that she did three days dry fast and God opened her eyes at the meeting, she went to look for her prayer partner and found her eating rice, but God opened her eyes and she saw that the stew on the rice was not stew but blood, she was offered some of the rice which she declined to eat and took her leave, we need to wake up and become very serious, I know of a man of God who went to a crusade after beating his wife at home, he was asked to pray with someone, he laid his hands on the fellow's lead and began to pray violently, after a while, he realized that his hands were bleeding, when he opened his eyes, he saw two horns on the fellow's head, these horns had pierced his palms, it took him about a year to use those hands actively again, perhaps you still waste your time dancing every Sunday, 
when witchcraft powers are pursuing you, or you are on the side of witches who are the cause and are in charge of your problems, you really need deliverance from the suppressors, each and every one of us needs to have a divine encounter with the Holy Ghost, after such an encounter, your life can never be the same again, you ought to know that as a Christian, you are a champion in your school, your workplace and where you live, you should not be a spiritual coward, you must note that until that power from on high comes upon you, you will continue to be suppressed by the enemy, I believe God that if you can pray like a mad person, he will deliver you, in this world, before you can achieve anything to make your life move forward, you have to run a little bit mad, somebody might want a first class degree from the university and he reads 7 hours a day, that's a kind of madness, to achieve the unbelievable, you need to do the unusual, the unimaginable, Jesus said, you shall receive power from on high, so you must try to possess this power to set yourself free, why should the Bible say that we are seated at the right hand of Jesus in heavenly places and powers of the earth are troubling our lives? It is because we lack power to suppress means to put under oppression, to be tortured by the devil beyond human comprehension, in these last days, the devil has put many Christians under his false authority. He has limited many lives and destinies by force or by deceit, he has built a stronghold with which he has captured and caged many people, the devil has suppressed many to the point of madness, many Christians today have lost faith in the absolute power of God because they have been suppressed for too long, the devil prevents people from expressing themselves and their emotions in prayers, he uses deceit to prevent people from growing spiritually, financially and materially, he cuts short development which he believes is dangerous for his hold upon his captives, you need to understand this, so that very soon, when it is time for you to pray, you should pray like a wounded lion, you should, liberate yourself from the seemingly inescapable captivity of the enemy, prayer points 1, thou power from on high, come upon my life, in Jesus name, 2, let the power of God locate me by fire, in Jesus name 3, you the oppressor and suppressor of my life, die, in the name of Jesus, 4, every pillar of suppression in my life, collapse, in the name of Jesus, 5, every evil pattern of suppression in my life, break, in the name of Jesus, 6, every stubborn oppressor working against my marriage, die, in the name of Jesus, 7, every ancestral suppressor, die, in the name of Jesus, 8, you the serpent of suppression, die, in the name of Jesus, oppression maketh a man mad, what is oppression? To oppress means to rule or treat in a continually cruel or harsh way, it could also mean to make somebody feel unnecessarily anxious, uncomfortable or unhappy, oppression is not just the physical act of torture or depriving people of their fundamental human rights, in the school of prayer, Oppression is one of the greatest weapons of the enemy with which he totally confuses many Christians, the devil or Lucifer has been an oppressor since he was cast down from heaven. He had a pretty good idea of what heaven looks like, so if he can't go back there and continue to enjoy the wonders of being in the prison, 